Hello everyone, it's Melanie. I received my very first ever journaling happy mail. Um, the Sweet Victoria in San Francisco purchased one of my Golden Book Encyclopedia journals. And um, when she was watching um, the video where I was so desperately trying to fill up uh, the, the back of this journal, she saw this page and it made her think of something that she had um, that I might like to put in my journal. So she sent me the most adorable book. Look at those stamps. They're gold. They're like gold. She sent me the most adorable um, little happy mail. And look at this cool envelope. I mean, even the, I can't decide because I want to put this in my journal with all the stamps. But then again, this, I could make a whole, you know, folio out of this really cool envelope. So I can't decide how I'm going to use this yet, but it's going to get used because I absolutely love it. Thank you, Victoria. So she, isn't this cute? Look, she wrote my name on there to match this little envelope. Or she drew the whole envelope. I don't know, but it's absolutely adorable. So what she sent, this is a little card from her, and she, I feel like she knows me, even though we don't know each other because I'm, um, this reminds me of embroidery. And then this is all vintage sewing goodies. You know, it's like, how does she know these things? It's anyway, it's really cool. So um, when she bought the journal from me, we were kind of talking in our Etsy conversations about um, San Francisco. And I mentioned to her that I really like San Francisco also, and that my husband um, was born in Berkeley, California, and his dad worked in downtown San Francisco, and they lived high up in the hills in Oakland. Um, and that we had, um, on a trip to California a few years ago, we actually got to drive by both of the homes that he lived in when he was little, um, uh, when they lived in the hills in Oakland. And she sent me this, this book. Look, who made Oakland? This book is so beautiful. It's, it's from 1925. And it's literally, I mean, it, the, the, the pages aren't even, it's like it's never even been read. It's in such amazing condition. But it's, um, it's all about the history of Oakland. Um, a lot about, from looking through it, I haven't read it all, but a lot about um, the business people, the businessmen and the um, industries that came to Oakland and, um, created the infrastructure there and it's really really it's really fascinating and I'm just I am so humbled that she thought of me and um and sent this to me and um this is really cool this is um Skyline Drive which is up high in the hills in Oakland so I don't know if her intention was for me to use this book in my junk journaling, but there's no way I'm holding it close to me. There's no way I can tear this book up. It's, it's absolutely, it's absolutely amazing. So what I did do and sh what she had mentioned, this is what kind of made her think of um, my other journal. I did loosen, take this little map out that's in the back so that I could scan it. So it was so funny. Yesterday I had, it was still attached in the book, but yesterday when my husband came home, um, I had the, just opened out the map and it, it was sitting here like this and he walked up beside me and the first thing he said was, oh, Beacons, that's who moved us from California to Texas. And he said that just seeing this and he didn't even, he didn't know the story. He didn't know where the book, he didn't know I had a book. He didn't know where it came from. He didn't realize this was a map of where he lived in California. It was just so serendipitous and I just, I love it, and I'm, I'm gonna have to share all this with my father-in-law too. Um, he really, um, he's a San Francisco, he likes San Francisco, he's a fan too. So I did find, I told Victoria, I did find um, one of the streets they live on, and I don't have my glasses on here, but Valley View, Valley View Road, 
right up there in the hills. And then the other house that they lived on was on a street that um, is right in here, because this map is from 1925, so this wasn't quite developed yet. But look, there's their old street, Valley View, up in the hills. So it's such a thoughtful, this is such a thoughtful gift. And Victoria, I am so grateful for you sharing it with me. It was very, very kind of you. And I will appreciate it. And I am going to enjoy using it. Um, even if all I do is scan it. Oh, and she sent me this cute little stamp. Look, it's a two cent stamp with an Oakland cancellation on it. Isn't that cool? So I was going to real quick put her, put some of her things um, into my journal and let's hold that in there. Um, one of the copies that I made was just of the map, uh, the map itself. And then last night I did my journaling inside uh, the little copy I made of the map. And I did distress the edges because um, I wanted to, so I can't quite decide, but I think I'm just gonna glue her envelope here like a little pocket and then I'm gonna put her um, card and then a copy of this map into the pocket that has, so this is my, um, this is my June 3rd journaling. So um, that's what I'm thinking is I'm gonna use this for the actual pocket. Um, I, I've mentioned before that I, um, I'm a quilter and years ago, um, I used to, I was in a lot of swaps and we would swap little pieces of fabric and things like that. And I would love to make a journal out of all the people who sent me cute notes and things like that when I was um, doing quilting swaps. But this is my very first ever piece of journaling happy mail. And it's just incredible. I just love it. So, I'll put that in a minute. Actually, I'm gonna put these on and then I can see what I'm doing. So I'll just put this in here. So cute. So this is, um, this is my page from the second. I got some mail from my mom, a little thank you note from my mom that I attached in here. And then I was gonna show you this other cute little thing I downloaded on Etsy and um, attach that in here real quick. So then I can just put Victoria's um, card, her sweet card, and then the journaling that I did uh, inside this copy of the, the map from the book. And then I can't decide, um, at this point, I can't decide if I want to cut this out and keep this in my journal. I mean, I almost want to just, I almost want to use this as, you know, cut the top and the bottom and then use this as a folio to make um, another journal out of. So thank you, Victoria. I absolutely love it. It's very thoughtful of you and I sincerely appreciate it. Um, the other thing I was gonna show y'all just really quick is I was looking for some paper dolls on Etsy the other day and I found this Betsy McCall paper doll set. It's from Tin Teddy and oh my goodness. These are like from the 50s and they are so, so adorable. So here's the little dolls and then here's two pages of the clothes and there's I think there's like six or seven pages of clothing. So these are the originals. This is how they came. And um, I cut out, I did fussy cut. I cut this one and they're tiny. I mean, the dolls are only like a little more than three inches tall. So I will say in that respect, they're kind of hard. It's a little bit small for me to be cutting out on a regular basis. So. I um, I did print some at a larger scale, um, which I think you could just do that by, you know, telling your printer to print it at a larger scale. I actually did a little 
photo editing to make it work. Um, and I printed some a little larger, but I just think that these are absolutely adorable. So I just wanted to share those because I thought they were so cute. And I can put a link to, to that, the shop where I got it from. Um, but I just love all the little outfits. Look how cute, how cute they are. Anyway, if you're into paper dolls, um, that was that was something really cute. So I'm gonna, I might incorporate those. I think ideally it would be cool if I use them and then I put little speech bubbles and she can she can do the talking <laughs> in my journals. So that's all I have to, for today, guys. I just wanted to share this and amazing happy mail from. Um, from Victoria and a little bit of journaling. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up below and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks, bye.